In this video, the Sakura D5 chassis that I run all the time is getting a upgraded aluminum chassis bottom plate, carbon graphite upper, and then the uh, full aluminum shock bodies, full aluminum shock setup. Now, if you're familiar with the channel, you'll know that I've been running the Sakura a bunch. Really, really enjoy it enjoy the rear motor layout and all the speed that it provides and love this chassis for one thing and one thing almost exclusively it's so dang cheap so compared to everything else that you can get out there it's almost one of those chassis that you just kind of if it starts to wear out you just kind of get a new one um but in a moment of weakness i purchased both the lower and upper chassis plus shock upgrade kit for it just to see what would happen and see if it really does make this even better or not. So follow along as I go through this and see what the differences are with this car.
from the drift testing with the Sakura D5. Really, I mean, I'll be honest, I think this was good, you know? Um, I would say the shocks, I could really tell a difference in the shocks. Now, part of that is freshly built new shocks. It seems like they always feel better, right? As soon as you start using it, the shocks are gonna start to wear, maybe, maybe a couple random hits, crashes, maybe that shock shaft gets bent just slightly. New shocks always feel better. And I would say I was very, very happy with how well the shocks really damped. Um, and how how much movement I had with them. Now again, I did have to point it out in the video. I did have to lengthen those shock rod ends, unscrew them some in order to get the travel that I needed. I believe out of the box setup from those shocks, a little bit short maybe for the chassis, um, especially since I went to that in the uh, the upright shock mod in the front, right? so that's my recommendation if you do that i'm going to actually dig through my bin and see what kind of longer shock red en rod ends i have that could work on that chassis and i'm going to try to put those on and see if that can make it I don't, I don't like having that rod end unscrewed so much right it just seems like it's a little bit weaker that way so i'm going to try to see i think i have some longer ones that i can put in there um so length of the shock that was kind of really the only negative otherwise spring rate and i had that 350 cst oil in it i think that was really really nice i could see i don't know if it's going to come across on video or not but i could really see the car diving and raising under acceleration really happy really happy with the movement of the shocks while drifting so really good there the chassis side um, I do kind of regret the fact that I got the aluminum chassis. I think if I had to recommend to you what to do, if you're going to spend the money, spend the extra, make sure you get the actual carbon fiber chassis for the bottom, right? I got the carbon fiber for the top. Honestly, it was a mistake that I got the aluminum one. I meant to get the carbon fiber and I guess I just, I guess I just clicked the wrong button. You know, mistakes happen. It's still nice. I appreciate the extra stiffness that that gives. Man, you know, so what was it? It was about eight grams heavier or something like that. It's not a lot. It's not killer for the total weight of the vehicle for sure. So it's kind of a no regrets. But if I was going to do it over again, I'd get the carbon fiber. You know, I want my chassis to be as light as possible. I want the weight to be where I need it to be. But otherwise, you know, we're really fighting to accelerate these vehicles on the hard plastic tire on the slippy surface. So as much weight reduction as possible is great. You want less weight. I hear a lot of people trying to balance their chassis by adding weight onto the chassis. You don't want to do that. You want a lighter weight chassis. And so ah, I kind of regret not getting the carbon fiber one, but the aluminum looks really, really nice. It's only eight grams heavier and it adds some stiffness. So okay, I have it, I'm gonna run it. It'll be fine, but um, we're gonna go from there. So I really, I'm really happy that I did these upgrades to the car. Let me know if this is valuable to you. If you can, if you learned anything from this, or you can take anything away from it, um, let me know down in the comments. I really appreciate all the feedback back there to understand what's going on. I'm gonna go work on some other things. In the meantime, please come over here, check out other videos that we have going on. Anything that we've already created, you watching it really helps the channel out, and I appreciate all the support. So thank you. We'll talk to you in the next video. Goodbye.